Good morning and happy Saturday. It's the 2nd of May, so we're day two of Everyday Me. So today I'm focusing again on the Louis Hart quilt I'm making for Mum for Mother's Day. We're going to piece the backing together out of these fabrics I showed you yesterday. And we're going to try and baste it today. There's no faffing, no procrastinating. I'm going to baste it today. It's going to happen. So then tomorrow we can quilt it. You all know how bad I am at procrastinating over basting a quilt. The goal is to not procrastinate today. Just get it done. Just get it done. So I need to figure out this fabric. I have actually used some of this. So I just got to make sure it's going to... Oh yeah, no, it's plenty big. That's fine. That's fine. So I should be able to use one whole width of this fabric and then half a width of that one to make up the backing. It makes sense if you'll see what I mean as we go along. But yeah, let's let's just get into it. It's a perfect day for sewing. It is so windy and cold outside. So if you hear like weird noises in the background, it's the wind. It's a little bit later on in the afternoon and I have pieced together the backing of the quilt and I've made I've changed my mind about the backing. It's still the same fabric, but yesterday I said I was going to do more of the minty pastel one and then the white at the bottom. I've actually changed it around. I'm going to do a big piece of white and then the mint along the bottom. So I've just finished uh, pressing it and making it look quite nice. So now it's time to baste. Uh, I'm going to get myself all set up and ready. I thought I would just touch on the batting that I'm using at the moment. I have shared this before, but you know, I'll share it with you again, just in case you didn't see. So I have a big roll of this batting here. It's just called Back to Basics Old Fashioned 100% Cotton Batting. I'm not particularly sure who it's by. It's not really branded or anything. It just says that it's made in the USA Packed for uh, Lutenegger, which is one of the suppliers that supply Spotlight. I just remember there was a label on the other side, so it's just a premium seeded cotton wadding. It's 245 centimeters wide. I'm not sure what that is in inches. I'll put it on the screen now. 100% cotton, and then it just tells me washing instructions. Quite often, you don't have to pre wash batting. You can if you want to, just so that it doesn't shrink, I think. I've never done it, so I'm not all that sure about about it. I don't pre-wash anything. Um, I'm not a pre-washer of fabrics before I use them. I know some people swear by it that you have to pre-wash fabrics before using them. I don't like to. I like the I like the handle that fabric freshly bought feels like. I mean it still has like all of the finishings from it from the store or from the manufacturer. I find that it's, it's easy to iron. If there are creases in it, usually they don't have a lot of creases in it. Yeah, I just find it a lot easier just to use fabric straight off and not pre-wash. But if you are a pre-washer of fabrics before using it, that's fine as well. It's one of those things where there's a lot of debate, but at the same time, it's like do what works for you and what you most feel comfortable doing. If you are a pre-washer, awesome. But if you're not, that's awesome too. So, this is the batting I'm going to be using because that's all I've got at the moment. And then of course I am still using the Helmar 101 quilt basting spray. I absolutely love this stuff. I get it from Hobby So, but I'm sure it's sold in other places as well. Uh, and it's a good price. It's $14.95, whereas the one that you get at Spotlight, the Birch brand, it's about $20. Oh, actually no, I think it might have gone up. Maybe about, I think it's now about $21 a can, I think. But it leaves like a yellowy sort of um, tinge especially if you're using a white wadding and it's also really quite smelly whereas this stuff it's it doesn't smell it sticks really well and it doesn't leave a mark or anything like that but enough rambling let's get basin so I have layered all of my layers together uh, backings down batting is down and the quilt top is on top obviously ready for basting you know what I'm doing. I'm procrastinating. Actually, I'm sitting in the sun. The sun is like going in and out of the trees because it's still so windy outside. But it's nice. It's nice to have a little bit of 
the sun just coming in and out. It's really nice. So, I should really get this basted. It shouldn't take me too long because it's actually really quite small. It's like a really nice sized lap quilt. So, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. But still, I've got to do it. There she is. Looking lovely. And this is what I've decided to do for the backing. So, more of the white at the top. And then a little bit of the mint down the bottom. So I think that should look good. days the quilt is successfully basted and it like I said didn't take that long I did it all in one hit usually I do one half have a break and then do the other half but I just did it all in one go now I need to decide how I'm gonna quilt it I'm not doing free motion quilting I am a straight line quilting person that's just how it is I actually woke up this morning you know how like when you wake up and you're sort of like in that sort of you know daisy type zone you're not asleep but you're not awake you just sort of got your eyes closed and you just you know lazily thinking about things well I was in that zone this morning thinking about how I was gonna quilt this and I think I'm gonna do like cross hatch type thing so one line going this way and then the other line going the other way. But I think I'm going to do something similar to what I did with my Lucky Star block quilt. This is actually the one that I've got on my... Geez, it's still so windy today. It's the quilt that I got on my bed at the moment. It's one of my favourites. So it's this lovely beauty here. And if you remember, I actually did three lines going one way and then three lines going the other. I think I'm going to do something similar but I'm going to make them a lot closer together so it's a little bit more dainty and not as sort of thick and bold. Hello puppy! What are you doing? Yes? Bye puppy! So yeah, because this quilt is so like dainty and floral and lovely and feminine, I'll do those three lines but closer together almost like maybe a quarter inch seam apart. I think that will look really nice. So that is the plan for tomorrow, I think. I think it's going to be another coolish kind of day. So what better way to spend it than in front of the sewing machine quilting in my happy place. Knowing me, I will no doubt just get all of the quilting done tomorrow. If I don't, I'll obviously carry it in to Monday and then we'll crack on with the binding and get it done. And then obviously do the label before next Sunday but we're getting ahead of ourselves we have to quilt it first I got my flu shot the other day and my arm's been quite sore for the last couple of days and now it's really itchy is that okay is that normal I don't know Ugh, it's so itchy so while I get my board ready for tomorrow I had to do Saturday the second like this because it only gave me two twos, which wasn't very helpful, so I had to spell out the second as second. So hopefully I'll have enough numbers for Sunday. Thank you all so much for joining me today, or whatever it was. I basted a quilt today. Oh, did you just hear my stomach growl? <laughs> I basted a quilt today, although I did procrastinate over it a little bit. I got it done without sort of, you know taking up too much time thinking about it so yay for little victories i also just want to say that i didn't get a chance to say yesterday it's just like a little admin note i suppose anything that i mention or anything that i sort of do or show you like if i refer to a tutorial that i've done or like to a pattern or a block or a product 
or anything that I share with you that I can link more information about for you. All of that will be in the description box. I always try my best to put uh, all of the links to things that I mention and I think that you guys would be interested in. So if I do mention something that you think, oh, I might check that out, then have a look in the description box and you'll possibly find a link to it, hopefully. Sometimes there isn't sort of any link or anything. So, but yeah, just most times, um, have a look in the description and you'll see lots more information there. Tomorrow's going to be the third, isn't it? Oh my gosh, how is it three days into May already? I'm trying to find a three. I have all of my little letters in here. That's possibly a bad idea because I can't see anything. Because I'm getting old. I just want the number three. I don't want a W or an E. Oh, that rhymed. Oh my gosh. Just so clever. Oh, the threes have disappeared. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me today. Look forward to tomorrow and lots of quilting montages. <laughs> Hopefully we should be able to get a little bit of it done. I hope you're all having a nice Saturday and I will see you again tomorrow for day three. Bye! Yay! I found my three! Whee! Happy days!